Yahu Jeremiah 50. The word that Yahuwah spoke against Bebel and against the land of the Kazdim by Yahu the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babel is taken, Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there comes up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days and in that time, says Yahuwah, the children of Yashadel shall come, they and the children of Yahudah together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek at Yahuwah Elohehem. They shall ask the way to Sion, with their faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to El Yahuwah in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against Yahuwah, the habitation of justice, even Yahuwah, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babel, and go forth out of the land of the Kazdim, and be as the he-goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babel an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And Kazdima shall be a spoil, and that spoil her shall be satisfied, rather. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, says Yahuwah, because ye were glad because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bore you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahuwah it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Every one that goes by Babel shall be astonished, and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babel round about, all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she has sinned against Yahuwah. Shout against her round about, she has given her hand. Her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yahuwah. Take vengeance upon her, as she has done. Do unto her. Cut off the sower from Babel, and, and him that handles the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn every one to his people, and they shall flee every one to his own land. Yashadael is a scattered sheep, 
the lions have driven him away. First the king of Ashur has devoured him. And last this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, has broken his bones. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashadael, Behold, I will punish the king of Babel and his land, as I have punished the king of Ashur. And I will bring Yashadael again to his habitation, and he shall feed on Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied upon Mount Ephraim and Gilad. In those days and in that time, says Yahuwah, at the iniquity of, Ash, of Yashar'el shall be sought for, and at there shall be none, and the signs of Yahudah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. Go up against the land of Merath, Aim, even against it, and against the inhabitants of Pichad, Waste and utterly destroy after them, says Yahuwah, and do according to all that I have commanded you. A sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babel become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for you. And you are also taken, O Babel. And you were not aware. You are found and also caught because you have striven against Yahuwah. Yahuwah has opened at his armory and has brought forth at the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Adonai Yahuwah Sevoth in the land of the Kazdim. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them! For their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babel to declare in Sion, Eth, the vengeance of Yahuwah Eloheinu, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babel, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she has done. Do unto her, for she has been proud against El Yahuwah, against the Holy One of Yashara'el. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, says Yahuwah. Behold, I am against you, O you most proud, says Adonai Yahuwah Sevaoth. For your day is come, the time that I will visit you. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus says Yahuwah Savoth, the children of Yashadael, and the children of Yahudah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong, Yahuwah Sevaoth is his name. He shall truly plead at their cause, that he may give rest to the land, 
and disquiet the inhabitants of Babel. A sword is upon the Kazdim, says Yahuwah, and upon the inhabitants of Babel, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. And they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell therein. And it shall be no more inhabited for ever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. As Elohim overthrew Eth Chedam and Eth Amorah, and Eth the neighbor cities thereof, says Yahuwah, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of Adam dwell therein. Behold, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. And they shall hold the bow and the lance, they are cruel, and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses, every one put in array like a man to the battle against you, O daughter of Babel. The king of Babel has heard at the report of them, and his hands wax feeble. Anguish took hold of him, and pangs as of a woman in travel. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of the Yardan unto the habitation of the strong. But I will make them suddenly run away from her, and who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore, hear the counsel, rather hear ye the counsel of Yahuwah, that he has taken against Babel and his purposes, that he has purposed against the land of the Kazdim. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. At the noise of the taking of Babel, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations.